Hi, I'm Marjorie Wildcraft. Did you know that as an individual or a family growing your own food that you have many incredibly huge advantages over commercial growers? Today's segment will inspire you. The very first advantage you have is, do you remember I was talking about that just-in-time trucking system and how your food travels an average of 1,500 miles to get you? It's picked green and ripened en route. Well, when you're growing your own food at home, you just simply open the back door and step outside and pick your food at the peak of ripeness. You'll never go back to those store-bought sour berries again and, oh, wait till you get to eat and slice open one of your own homegrown tomatoes. You're going to love it. Your second big, huge advantage that you have is that the food you grow can be unbelievably more nutritionally dense than the stuff you can buy at the store. Now, the big commercial growers, they only focus on three nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. That's the NPK that you see on those chemical fertilizer bags. Don't use that stuff. Actually, what you need for life and vitality is a whole bevy of trace minerals and, and other minerals. I think there's some 64 or 72 minerals that you need. Now, those commercial growers have only been focusing on NPK for decades, and the soils that they're growing on are depleted. But the soil that you make in your backyard that you grow, your own homemade compost piles and the free fertilizers that you can create, are much more rich and dense in, nu in, in nutrients and vitality. And of course, the plants that you grow in that will be much more dense in nutrition. And as you eat it, you will become healthier and stronger. The third big advantage that we have as home growers over commercial guys is that we can be unbelievably more productive. It is absolutely common for home growers to be twice or three times or even five times more productive than the commercial growers. And part of that is because we can use plant spacings and plant in patterns that commercial growers can't, and also because we can integrate livestock into our systems in ways that the commercial guys just can't do. The fourth huge advantage you have is your own creativity in creating synergistic systems in your garden. Let me show you just one example. Here's a picture of me. I'm working the bed, getting ready to plant. And everybody always notices and says, Hey, Marjorie, what are those trees growing down the middle of your garden bed? And I say, Oh, those are miracle fertilizer trees. Those trees in their roots have a synergistic relationship with the soil, and they create fertilizer right there in the soil. Here's a picture of the trees in the summertime, and they create an abundance of leaves. Now, these leaves are incredible free rabbit food. They're also great for composting, using as mulch. Most importantly, here in Texas, these trees in the summertime provide a lot of shade, which is something we desperately need. So this is living shade cloth. In the wintertime, they die back and open up and get me all the sunlight that I need in my garden. It's an incredible synergy that you can also do in your garden. Commercial growers could never deal with trees in their beds because they've got big equipment and they just can't get have that's not compatible with how they work. They also can't incorporate livestock and get all the benefits that you can get with the synergies of livestock in your garden and in your growing area. They also have a hard time with multi-species, like, and so they won't ever be able to get the benefits and advantages that you and I can implement with companion planting, for example. So there are tremendous advantages that you have as an individual grower or as a family. I hope this segment has inspired you and showed you just how powerful you really are. And you can grow your own groceries. Until the next segment, I'm Marjorie Wildcraft.